to Intelligence Gateway. Data Visualization Tools and Techniques Data visualization tools and techniques are used to represent data visually, enabling users to extract insights from the data easily. Here are some commonly used data visualization tools and techniques. 1. Matplotlib Matplotlib is a popular plotting library in Python that provides a wide range of visualization options, including line charts, scatter plots, histograms, and more. 2. Seaborn Seaborn is a Python library that provides a high-level interface for creating statistical graphics. It is built on top of Matplotlib and provides a range of attractive default styles. 3. ggplot2 ggplot2 is a popular data visualization library in R that provides an easy-to-use and flexible grammar of graphics framework for creating a wide range of visualizations. 4. The Tableau Tableau is a data visualization tool that allows users to connect to various data sources, create interactive dashboards, and publish them online. 5. Power BI Power BI is a business analytics tool by Microsoft that allows users to connect to various data sources, create interactive dashboards, and share them with others. 6. D3.js D3.js is a JavaScript library that is used to create dynamic and interactive visualizations on the web. 7. Plotly Plotly is a data visualization library that provides a range of interactive visualization options, including line charts, scatter plots, and 3D charts. 8. ClickView ClickView is a business intelligence and data visualization tool that provides a range of features, including data discovery, visualization, and reporting. These tools and techniques can be used to create various types of visualizations, such as bar charts, line charts, scatter plots, heat maps, and more. The choice of tool and technique depends on the type of data and the insights that need to be extracted. Week 3 Exploratory Data Analysis Introduction to Exploratory Data Analysis, EDA Exploratory Data Analysis, EDA, is the process of examining and analyzing data sets to summarize their main characteristics. It is often the first step in data analysis and helps in understanding the data, identifying patterns, and generating hypotheses. EDA involves the following steps. Data collection, gathering data from various sources such as databases, web scraping, surveys, etc. Data cleaning, handling missing values, removing duplicates, correcting errors, etc. Data visualization, creating visual representations of data using charts, graphs, and other visual tools. Data transformation, converting data into a suitable format for analysis. Data analysis, applying statistical and machine learning techniques to explore and discover patterns in the data. EDA is an important step in the data analysis process because it allows us to understand the data and identify any issues that may affect the analysis. It also helps in selecting the appropriate machine learning algorithm and evaluating the model's performance. EDA techniques, descriptive statistics, histograms, box plots, etc. Exploratory Data Analysis, EDA, is an essential process in data analysis which involves the use of various statistical techniques to gain insights into the dataset. EDA involves exploring the dataset, summarizing its characteristics, and identifying patterns and relationships between variables. Some of the techniques used in EDA include 1. Descriptive Statistics this involves calculating summary statistics such as mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, etc. to describe the central tendency and variability of the dataset. 2. Histograms. A histogram is a graphical representation of the frequency distribution of a variable. It is used to visualize the distribution of the data. 3. Box plots. A box plot is a graphical representation of the distribution of a variable. It displays the median, quartiles, and outliers of the data. 4. Scatter plots. A scatter plot is a graphical representation of the relationship between two variables. It is used to identify patterns and relationships between variables. 5. Heat maps. A heat map is a graphical representation of data where the values of each variable in a matrix are represented by colors. 
It is used to visualize patterns and relationships between variables. 6. Correlation Analysis Correlation analysis is used to identify the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables. It involves calculating the correlation coefficient, which ranges from minus 1 to plus 1, with minus 1 indicating a strong negative correlation, 0 indicating no correlation, and plus 1 indicating a strong positive correlation. 7. Principal Component Analysis, PCA PCA, is a dimensionality reduction technique that involves transforming the dataset into a lower dimensional space while retaining as much of the original information as possible. PCA is used to identify patterns and relationships between variables. These techniques are used to summarize the characteristics of the dataset, identify patterns and relationships between variables, and gain insights into the data. Correlation and Regression Analysis Correlation and Regression Analysis are statistical techniques used to study the relationship between two or more variables. Correlation is a measure of the association between two variables, while Regression Analysis is a statistical method used to determine the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Correlation Analysis is used to determine the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables. The correlation coefficient is a numerical value that ranges from minus 1 to 1. A value of minus 1 indicates a perfect negative correlation, while a value of 1 indicates a perfect positive correlation. A value of 0 indicates no correlation between the two variables. Regression analysis, on the other hand, is used to study the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. The dependent variable is the variable being predicted or explained, while the independent variable is the variable used to explain the dependent variable. Regression analysis provides an equation that can be used to predict the value of the dependent variable based on the values of the independent variables. There are different types of regression analysis, including simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, polynomial regression, and logistic regression. Simple linear regression is used when there is only one independent variable, while multiple linear regression is used when there are two or more independent variables. Polynomial regression is used when the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable is not linear. Logistic regression is used when the dependent variable is categorical. Correlation and regression analysis are important tools in data analysis as they help to identify patterns and relationships in the data. They are commonly used in business, finance, economics, and other fields to analyze data and make predictions based on the relationships between variables. Week 4, Predictive Modeling Introduction to Predictive Modeling Predictive modeling is the process of using statistical algorithms and machine learning techniques to analyze data and make predictions about future events or behaviors. It is a technique used in various fields such as finance, healthcare, marketing, and sports, to name a few. Predictive models are designed to identify patterns in historical data that can be used to make accurate predictions about future outcomes. Predictive modeling involves several steps including data preparation, feature engineering, model training, and evaluation. During data preparation, data is cleaned, transformed, and formatted to be used in modeling. Feature engineering involves selecting and creating relevant variables that are used in modeling. Model training involves using algorithms and machine learning techniques to learn patterns in the data and create a predictive model. Finally, the model is evaluated to determine its accuracy and performance. Common techniques used in predictive modeling include regression analysis, decision trees, random forests, support vector machines, SVMs, and neural networks. These techniques are used to build models that can predict outcomes such as sales, customer churn, credit risk, and disease diagnosis. Predictive modeling has many practical applications. For example, in healthcare, predictive modeling can be used to predict patient outcomes, identify high-risk patients, and develop personalized treatment plans. In finance, predictive modeling can be used to predict stock prices, detect fraud, and manage risk. In marketing, 
Predictive modeling can be used to identify potential customers, personalize marketing messages, and optimize advertising campaigns.